Aki wakes up in a hospital bed and sees Denji and Power sitting next to him and reading manga. Power sees that Denji eats an apple and demands eating it, but Denji refuses to give it to her, stating that she ran away and doesn't deserve it. Power lies, saying that she was hungry and that's why she left, but Denji doesn't believe her and they continue arguing. Aki asks them who else survived from the Division 4, and Denji reveals that Kobini survived and the guy with glasses, but he quit. Denji explains that Makima called for him and Power, and they will be splitting up with Aki. Before leaving, Denji takes the basket with apples, but decides to leave one for Aki. After that, Aki takes his sword and asks Cursed Devil how many years he has left, and Cursed Devil tells him that he has two years left. Aki takes a cigarette, and as he uses the lighter, he remembers Himino and starts crying. Denji has forgotten his manga and returns to get it, but finds Aki crying. He understands why, as he lost many friends including Himino. Remembering Himino, Denji wonders why he doesn't cry for her. He was sad when Pachita died. Himino was the first to offer to be friends with him, but he doesn't feel sad for her. Denji wonders if he will cry if Power died, but guesses no, either for her or for Aki. He then thinks of Makima, but guesses if she dies, he will feel down for a few days, but then continue with his happy life. Denji then wonders if he had lost his human heart, but moments later decides to not think about serious stuff. After Denji and Power leave, Michiko and Yutaro visit Aki and introduce themselves as advisors who came per Makima's request. Denji and Power meet up with Makima at the cemetery. She tells them that the hotel incident and the recent attack prove that they are after Denji. Denji wonders if Makima will train them, however, Makima explains that she is quite busy and will be introducing them to someone perfect for the job. She takes them to Himino's master, Kishai, but before revealing his name, he wants to ask them a few questions first. Kishibe then asks Denji and Power how they felt when their teammates died, and if they want revenge. Denji and Power state they didn't think much of it, and are not interested in revenge. Kishibe asks them if they are on human or devil's side. Denji states he is on the side that takes care of him, while Power states she is on the side of whoever is winning. Kishibe states they scored perfectly and that there are not many like their type. He tells Makima to leave as their training is starting. Kishibe states he is Devil Hunter from Division 1, and they can call him Master. He likes booze, women and killing devils. He hugs them and snaps their necks, leaving them unable to move. He explains that they have same bodies as humans, but that they can recover by drinking blood. After he gives them blood and they recover, Denji wonders why he did that. Kishibe explains that Makima asked him to train. For some reason the gun devil want Denji's heart and Makima is worried that Denji is quite weak. He has been training humans, but now must train devils. His drunk self then came with an idea. Since he is the strongest devil hunter, the devil that defeats him must be the strongest too. He will keep hunting Denji and Power until they defeat him. Denji and Power believe he is crazy, but as Kishibe comes at them, Power creates a blood hammer and gives it to Denji. However, in just a moment, Kishab stabs Denji several times and cuts Power's throat. He notes that Denji is immortal, while Power is semi-immortal, and all they think about is bashing someone's head. He always wanted a toy he can't break and intends to turn them into the best. At the hospital, Aki tries to call the Fox Devil, but it won't show up. Yutaro states it's because he abused the Devil's power and got on its bad side. Yutaro also states that he can use the Cursed Devil a few more times too. Aki then realizes why they are there and the two explain that they do career coaching and wonder if Aki is considering quitting after the incident. It's fine if he wishes to continue, but needs to be more prepared and make a contract with a stronger devil. Aki states that the one who killed his family and the one who killed his friends is still alive, so he can't quit. The two then leave stating that they will be back tomorrow with some paperwork. A woman then enters, surprising Aki. At dark, Kishibe tells a beat-up Denji in power that he is leaving and will meet them tomorrow at their place. Denji falls to the ground and starts making noises while drooling himself. Power realizes his brain broke again and starts hitting him in the head, 
telling him to come back. Denji comes to his senses and asks Power how many times he has been killed today. Power guesses at least 20 times, but she also went unconscious after him, so she isn't entirely sure. While going home, Denji doesn't feel happy if he has to live like that. Power suggests they run, but Denji states the public safety will hunt them if they do. Denji is annoyed at how strong Kishibe is. Power then states she got an idea. She states his brain is rotten due to the alcohol, and they should use their brains to fight him. Denji likes the idea, wanting to be like the smart characters in the manga. The two then decide to kill him with their intellect, feeling smarter already. The next day, Power and Denji wear glasses to look smarter and wait for Kishibe. As he comes, right before opening the door, Power and Denji start their super smart operation and Power throws a blood spear through the door, but Kishibe evades. Having prepared bottles of blood above Kishibe, Power turns them to spears coming for Kishibe from above, but he again evades. Kishibe breaks all the spears and Denji comes from the above floor, attempting to hit him with an axe, however, in an instant Kishibe turns and kicks Denji, knocking his glasses and Denji. Kishibe notes this was their best attempt, and they should use their brain more. They failed for two reasons. Power used too much blood and made herself anemic. And two, Denji failed to predict Kishibe's attack. Kishibe then congratulates them for the try and adds that they are done for today. Denji tells Power about it, and she feels lucky. As Denji attempts to stand, Kishibe throws a knife at his head, stating that Prey shouldn't trust the hunter. Michiko and Yutaro take Aki to a special facility, explaining that making a contract with a strong devil will mean the contract should be brutal too. They walk through some cells, and Yutaro explains that this is where public safety locks up devils they capture. Yutaro then recalls seeing the girl that entered Aki's room after them, and wonders if he is his girlfriend. Aki explains it to his teammate's sister. Yutaro wonders if she hit Aki. Aki denies it, and explains she gave him letters, which her sister had sent him, and she believes Aki should read them too. Reading them, Aki sees that Himino wonders how to make Aki quit. They take him to cell 108, noting that they want Aki to make a contract with the devil inside, the future devil. He reveals that two people have a contract with him. One gave half of their lifespan, while the other gave it their eyes, senses of taste and smell. Aki then enters the cell and faces the future devil.